Hello, everyone, and welcome to the program. This is a special program, uh, Dr. Rina. Yes, very uh, special. It's Christmas coming up very soon. And uh, how are you today? You all ready for I'm the... I'm good. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, and, uh, so, so what are we making today? I want to ask you something. Okay. What do you think? Why Santa appears and looks always like big and fat? I have never seen skinny Santa. I think it's because he eats a lot of cookies when he delivers the uh, Christmas presents. Right. Everybody sets out cookies and milk and, you know, he, he goes to millions and millions of, of homes. Aww. And so he has a lot of cookies and I think that helps. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's too pity. But you know what? We cannot take cookies from Santa because this is his it's a tradition. job to eat yes, cookies. Yes, absolutely right. So, but let's help Santa become healthier and do not gain weight from cookies. Ah, we'll okay. make cookies for Santa which are not leading to gain weight. Healthy cookies. Healthy cookies sounds good, eh? It, it does sound good. I think Santa would love that, get him back into shape. Yes. And yes. Uh, the rest of us who like cookies, the same thing would happen that way. Right. Just. Right, okay, right. so we we're going to help cookies. him, right? Yeah, right. We'll help. Exactly. What we are going to use, we are going to use not traditional ingredients, but a little bit not traditional ingredients. First, we'll use a quick oats. Quick oats. Just yeah. quick, not a flour, not anything, just quick oats will work very well. Why? We want them because the glycemic index of oats is 40, which is medium and close to low, while white flour is about 80. So we'll, we are doing a good job mm -hmm. here for lowering the glycemic index for sand. Okay. So we need one cup of Quick, quick oats. oats. Okay. Then low glycemic index, and that's the whole key. That's over here. the whole key, and uh, wonderful. It's a great solution. Now we'll add almond meal. Okay. Almond meal. We'll add half, half cup, so half of the amount of uh, oats. So the almond meal, uh, uh, half a cup. Yes. And the and oats, a, a full cup. I, I, yes, the like, glycemic index of nuts is only 15, which is very low, and they're so nutritional. All nuts, it's, it's great, great for health. And we'll add third of cup pure fructose. Don't go. Well. Let me add this way because I don't want it to be. Out of Third of a cup of uh, fructose. Of the fructose, which glycemic index of fructose is only 20, comparing to sugar, oh, which is almost 100. Which is too sad. Fructose. Now, I, I, I mix um, dry ingredients first. Mm -hmm. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Baking powder. Okay. Half teaspoon. Half teaspoon. And the dry ingredients we have, nutmeg. Nutmeg. You know okay. what? Today for Santa, we'll go some extra mile wow. and we'll grate the whole nutmeg. Because usually wow. you use grated and you'll see the difference. You'll see the difference. Actually, it is much easier than you can think. Mm. Yeah, it's fresh. Ooh, that's a great aroma. Well, great smell. We made this. Okay, we are done with all dry ingredients. Oh, by the way, these cookies are very. 
quick to make, very, very quick. You don't need lots of time to be in the kitchen. Okay, now we'll have one stick of margarine. And I'll cut it here. Now, after that, I think I'll need your help. Mm -hmm. Because okay. today, I'll introduce you to a new device. A new device. I yes. love all the devices you have. Mm -hmm. You have all these gadgets and these little toys <laughs> yes. to use for cooking. I love it. <laughs> yes. This is it. We'll use very simple device, but it it helps to combine together the soft margarine and the dry ingredients. You see? Can you do this? Oh, I think I can try that. <laughs> yeah, and periodically we need to bring dry ingredients up. Mm -hmm. So we mix. We don't need to create a um, like puree, no, but uh, we need it crunchy. Well, meanwhile, I'll prepare something which is the like wet ingredient, so we'll add it at the end. We need just one egg. Just one egg. We'll beat it a little bit. It's good to add it um, when it's combined with water because we need a little bit water and the egg. So it's better to combine them before placing there. Oh, you are doing great. Let me mm -hmm. let me bring dry ingredients. Let me move this, mm -hmm. and we are almost done, which is which means ready for adding. Uh, has ingredients. So we need about three, four tablespoons of cold water. I put it here and put ice there so it is cold. Let's add a couple first because if it is less liquid, we can always add it. This is it. Wonderful. Oh, thank you so, so much. This is great. How is this? Perfect? Perfect. Really? Super. Most important yes. part, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. We are <laughs> helpers. What? We are Santa's helpers, as you can see, plainly see. Yes, this is our job. And we are doing it very willingly. Okay. Now we have this crunchy mixture. We'll make a hole and we'll start adding eggs with water to the middle and mix it. It gets pretty absorbed by the uh, right by the other ingredients. Mm -hmm. Let me put that in the sink or are you still going to use it? Oh no, thank you. Okay. Oh, well, it should, we need the to get the consistency of cookies, actually, right? We want to wake them afterwards. Well, let's see. I'm using tablespoon before I'll, I'll <laughs> use my hands. Why? Because I want to avoid the temperature, the, the, the heating, the heat heating the of the... Yeah. Want to keep it that, that cool. Uh, the school. That's why we use the cold water, and uh, we want to use it cold as as long as we can. Okay, I think it's time to to check it how it works. Actually, you know what? It's pretty well. It's pretty good. We don't need more water. Right, now I'll combine it a little bit more, so to create the even structure. 
this is it. This is how it looks like. And now we are going to place it on the baking sheet. I didn't mention that uh, the oven should be preheated to 375. So we had it. We have oven already is waiting for us. It's preheated to 375. I like to place, uh, to use the baking paper and don't, do not have these concerns and troubles with removing the cookies afterwards. So what we need, we'll get like this kind of amount and... So you just spoon it out. I spoon but then I'll flat them a little oh, bit. Oh, you're going to flat them afterwards. But now... Mm -hmm. We'll just add. Usually, from this amount, you get 14, 15 cookies. Now, this seems like a very simple process here. It is very simple, and you'll see how delicious it is. And, and so fast. If you have ingredients at home, actually, the just want something cozy, just make them. You know, this also seems like a fun thing to do with your children or your grandchildren. Absolutely, Have yes. them make this cookies. Of course. Make them together. That's just a, a great way to spend a day or a morning. And a great way to create the appropriate mindset for healthy cooking. Good point. Because Good point. recently I was... Uh, in the company of seven years ago. <laughs> so this is a very cute creature and she likes to cook. And so we started uh, cooking uh, muffins, I think. And the first thing she asked me, oh, it was at my place. And she's asking, do you have a cooking mix? Cookie mix, ah. Uh, no. Oh no. What do you mean? <laughs> what? Why don't you have it? At because I don't use it, because it is full of sugar and full of white flour and sometimes full of, uh, let's move your brother, move here, and sometimes also starch or any process things. So it's good to teach them about the healthy so food. So yes, when, yeah. when, 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 when you... And it's cookies. The I mean earlier you start, the earlier... Uh, kids get that it may be delicious, maybe yummy, sweet, cozy, but very healthy. Uh, I don't know if there is a. So I would move this one here, this one here, and put it right <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> ah, yes. Perfect. Okay. We are done. Now we need to. Make them, however, nicer and beautiful. Ah, so you're using a special tool for that. Very special tool. A fork. Uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, oh, you're this them out. will okay. be very nice. nice. Just flatten them. You can shape them. Uh, uh, well, they are going to <coughs> expand. expand a little oh, bit, but oh, not okay. a lot. So if you leave about an inch, it's fine. You don't. You don't. Inch need clearance to between them about. Between. And that, that'd it, be good. It's okay. They're not yeah. going to spread more than this. Do you think Santa likes chocolate? Oh, I think Santa loves chocolate. Uh huh. Santa's helper loves chocolate as well. Uh huh. <laughs> Well, if we think so, we can make actually three kinds of cookies for Santa. Not just the plain ones, but also we can add hazelnut. Hazelnuts, all oh, right, that's a great idea. Why not? It's, it's, a, it's a great addition. So we just can put it in the middle of each cookie. And look, it looks wonderful. Also, since we think that Santa and his helpers like chocolate, 
we can add a piece of chocolate in the middle. But with one, under one condition, it should be chocolate more, um, which contains co co cacao more than 70%. I have lean chocolate with 70%. So that's 70%. That's 70%. Cacao. You can use anything, but more than 70%. Lint, they make uh, 78 and uh, 85 and 90. 90 will be too, mm, too strong. Mm -hmm. So we have Guys, hazelnut. We, are done. we have hazelnut, chocolate, and plain. And plain. So? You can make them all in one batch. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Okay. So the oven is preheated to 375. And we're going to cook them literally like eight or nine minutes and they, they are done. So, let's see. Okay, eight or nine minutes at 375. Yeah. Well, by now, cookies were in the oven for eight minutes, maybe eight and a half. And we are taking them out. Yes. Yes, this is exactly how they need to be. And you know what? We put it here and let them cool. This is the most hard part. This is the hardest part here because you cannot eat them right away. Uh, they the smell so great right yes, now. Yes, but we need to wait a little bit we until they cool. Oh, we have to wait. <laughs> oh, I'll wait though. Once cookies are cool down a little bit. See, they are very easily removed. And we transfer them to beautiful red dish for scent. We've got a mix here. So we'll arrange them this way. So easier for him to choose chocolate goes here and we place the place. Santa is going to love this. <laughs> yeah, don't try to remove them while they're still hot. Uh, they can fall apart and all job will be gone. In this way they will look nice. And pretty cute. So we have chocolate, hazelnut, and plain. And plain. Wow. When can we eat? Um, we need to try first, right? We need to know what we are giving to Santa. Uh huh. Well, we have to absolutely test it out. The milk is there. This is. This is what the Christmas tree uh, should look like uh, near the fireplace or, or your Christmas tree on uh, Christmas morning or oh. Christmas Eve, rather. The cookies and the milk for Wonderful. Santa. Wonderful. I'm going to try one. Yes. Okay. I'm going to try a plain one to start off with. I'll try the hazelnut. Hazelnut. Like mm. that. What is the sweetness I taste in this? It's fructose, hmm. which is actually sweeter than sugar. So we don't need to use as much. Let's say I used a third of a cup. Mm -hmm. If we use sugar, we would use at least half a cup. Ah. But it is not about <laughs> quantity, it's about the quality. We use it to avoid elevation of blood sugar in our body and prevent secretion of insulin. So because this is sweets, mm. they, they are sweets, they are um, carbs, but they are good carbs. Very sweet, very delicious. Mm -hmm. I like them. <laughs> Hopefully, Santa will love them too. Mm.
Sancho will love these. Yes. And he'll keep in a good shape until new Christmas, next Christmas. He'll keep his health. Well, another great job, Dr. Rina. A great job I with the Christmas cookies. Thank you, you see, I cannot stop eating them. I'm going to have another one, too. <laughs> but I think we want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Enjoy. And uh, happy holidays. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Next time.